In both the Marvel and DC Universe, they each have beings of immense cosmic power. These beings generally cause issues for the heroes of Earth, despite the fact that they literally have an entire known universe to work with. Two of the best known of these beings is the almighty Darkseid, Lord of Apocalypse, and Galactus, the Devourer of Worlds. Both villains have appeared numerous times, trying to either devour the Earth or take control of it with the anti-life equation. Both are fantastic villains for different reasons. But the real question is, what would happen if they fought against each other? What would happen if Galactus decided to eat Apocalypse as a midday snack? I actually have the answer to this question from a crossover in 1995, Darkseid vs. Galactus, The Hunger, which was written by John Byrne and saw Galactus travel to Apocalypse at the signal of his herald, Silver Surfer. But before we get to that, let's do a quick history lesson. You see, Darkseid was created by Jack Kirby for his fourth world comic books, which focused on the exploits of the new gods and their immortal enemies on Apocalypse. Darkseid was introduced in the Forever People in 1971 and was shown to have the small goal of ruling the multiverse and taking away people's free will and hope. Darkseid would later be brought into the DCU as a major villain, fighting against the likes of the Justice League and Superman. He's also set his sights on Earth numerous times, believing that the answer to the anti-life equation can be found there. As a god, Darkseid has vast levels of super strength and is a tactical genius. His true strength comes from his Omega Beams, which are able to literally rip people from reality. He's also been shown to have the ability to suck the life out of the beings to heal himself. Now, Galactus was created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby and first appeared in the Fantastic Four, number 48, in 1966. A scientist from a previous universe, Galactus managed to survive the destruction of his universe and appear in hours after the Big Bang. He floated for an unknown amount of time, bathed in cosmic energy, until he finally emerged as the Galactus that we know and love. A being of immeasurable power, Galactus possesses an insatiable hunger that can only be lessened by the consumption of life energy from planets. He is described as the physical manifestation of the cosmos. When Galactus arrives at a suitable planet, he is perceived as one of the beings that live there. He's also able to grant a small portion of his power to a herald, a being that will seek out the suitable worlds for his hunger. Now, in this crossover comic, Galactus arrives at Apocalypse after receiving a signal from Silver Surfer. Once he arrives, he lands on the planet and begins to set up his machine to absorb the planet's energy. Darkseid throws everything at his disposal at the cosmic being, but Galactus barely realizes that anything is even happening. It does nothing to the giant. Seeing this being is beyond anything that he has fought before, Darkseid actually twists the landscape of Apocalypse into giant beings that physically attack the Devourer. For a moment, it would appear as if these giants might be enough for Galactus, but the arrival of the Silver Surfer gives Galactus enough time to regroup and defeat them. Meanwhile, Orion of the New Gods meets Silver Surfer in battle and is kind of quickly dispatched. Desaid manages to stop the Surfer by revealing his past to him, showing him that Galactus has lied to him about where he came from so that he won't miss home. Darkseid then steps up before the Mighty Devourer, believing that this shows weakness on the being's part and hits him with Omega Beams. But the almighty Omega Beams have no effect, with Galactus shrugging off this attack and knocking Darkseid away. With his machine finally complete, Galactus begins the task of absorbing Apocalypse's life force, only to discover that the planet itself is dead on the inside. Darkseid once again steps up before Galactus, offering to allow him to leave in peace, not bothering to try and stop him from eating other worlds, but also keeping the planet of New Genesis a secret. With this, Galactus and the Silver Surfer depart, searching for another world. So this kind of shows that Darkseid might not have even had the power to actually stop Galactus. But Galactus also just decides to leave, making the whole fight in general moot. So let's look at it a little differently. What if when Galactus first arrived at the planet, Darkseid launched his mighty legion of parademons at the cosmic being? They buzz around the giant, kind of annoying him, little gnats in his ears. They try their best to defeat him, but Galactus doesn't even bother acknowledging them, instead beginning the task of starting to build his machine. His defense is left up to the Herald, the mighty Silver Surfer working quickly, defeating all of those that oppose his master. 
but the surfer is unaware of Darkseid's furies. The powerful women launching forward, weakening the surfer and allowing Darkseid time to step up, revealing that his Omega powers are stronger than a small slice of the power cosmic that the surfer wields. After defeating the Herald Silver Surfer, Darkseid would then be able to turn his full might onto Galactus. But once again, the cosmic being would barely notice that he's being attacked. Once more, Darkseid would step up. Words of anger and evil thrown at Galactus, but the cosmic being would merely stare at Darkseid. Darkseid finally launching his Omega Beams at Galactus, but the Devourer is unfazed. He would hold out his hand, proclaiming that if Darkseid is truly a god, he is a sad portrayal of one, and the power cosmic would rip through Darkseid, destroying him. He would then turn to his machine, but then discover that Apocalypse is a dead world. Power, but dark energy. He would then absorb this energy, becoming a dark god with the combined might of the power cosmic and the Omega energies. He would then turn back to the planet, taking the throne of Apocalypse, making the surviving Furies and Parademons his new heralds, and use the planet as his throne world. It would sift through the multiverse, searching for suitable worlds to feed his insatiable hunger. At least, we think it would be much cooler if Galactus just killed the dark side, because what's the point in telling a story where they just struggle and both go their separate ways? Now, I'm sure some power scalers out there are going to tell us that we're crazy and that this wouldn't actually work. So let us know in the comments down below what you think would happen if the two of them actually met up. Thank you so much for watching today's episode, and I'll see you next time right here at the Comic Storian Versus series.